Today, a Nashville doctor who specializes in infectious diseases is recommending that we all wear cloth masks if and when we have to leave our homes. News Force Nancy Amons joins us live this afternoon to tell us why and important here, Nancy, how to sanitize them once we get home. That's right, Tracy. It can be something as simple as a bandana like this one, something that you can tie around your face, your nose, and your mouth. It's very important that it's something that you can wash as soon as you get back inside. You may be seeing more people wearing masks like these. That's because some doctors are now recommending that we cover our faces when we go out in public. It's because you never know who around you might be carrying the virus or if you might be. All of us could wear a mask when we're out in public. There's a reason why in China and South Korea, everyone wears a mask when they're out in public. And at least one major study showed that that cut the rate of transmission by 50%. That's Dr. James Hildreth. He's an infectious disease specialist. His recommendation follows advice this morning from Dr. Anthony Fauci. The idea of someone who's asymptomatic shedding high titers of virus is very disturbing because that person could be out there feeling well and inadvertently and innocently spreading the infection. Experts are not recommending the general public try to wear the types of masks that healthcare workers use, the N95 masks, for example. They're in such short supply. Wear a simple cloth mask that you can clean after each use. Wash your hands when you take it off and sterilize it or sanitize it if you're gonna use it repeatedly. Wash it in soap and water. Stick it in a plastic bag and microwave it for two or three minutes at the highest setting. Numerous studies show that many, many types of bacteria, fungus, and viruses are killed by microwave radiation. And again, the health experts are stressing they're not recommending that the uh, general public go out and look for these N95 masks. If you can find them, they're pretty hard to find anyway. Save those for the first responders and the uh, health care professionals.